Okay, today we're going to present to you an aerobic exercise workout. So on those cold weather days or when you're looking for something different to do inside, but we're trying to get the heart rate up and do a training for um, cardiovascular fitness. We've got Sabrina who's going to do a seated version. So anyone who would prefer to exercise seated or if at any point you get tired and you want to complete the exercise seated, we'll show you an option to do there. Um, we're going to do a five minute warm up. We're going to do 20 minutes, hopefully in that target heart rate zone. So if you think about your RPE scale, the Borg scale, you're going to be working fairly light to somewhat hard during that training zone. And then we'll do a cool down at the end. So grab a bottle of water, put on your favorite music and we'll get started. All right. So we're going to start by warming up. We're going to just tap. All right. We're going to take it nice and slow to get started. So we're just tapping the feet front and back. Right. So you can start slow if this feels too slow for you. Remember, we're warming up, but you can pick up your pace a little bit. All right, and then we're going to switch and we're going to side tap. Tap to the side, to the side. Good. So we're just using this warm up to gradually get the muscles warming up, get the joints warming up, get your heart starting to beat a little bit faster, getting your body ready for our workout. All right, and we're going to tap to the back. So tap behind, good. Good. All right, and then we're gonna repeat that sequence, but we're gonna add in some arm movement to start to get the heart rate a little bit higher. So here we go, we're gonna tap to the front and reach. Tap front and reach. Good. All right. So getting the bodies loosened up, warmed up here. And always keep in mind, and we're gonna switch and we're gonna take it to the side. We're gonna reach to the side and tap to the side. If anything's uncomfortable for your body, you can change it. If you've got an issue with your shoulder, you don't have to reach the arms. All right, exercise shouldn't be painful. Good, I can feel my heart starting to Pick up a little bit, we're gonna reach and tap to the back. Good. This should still be fairly light, we're still warming up. Good. All right, we're gonna work on coordination, so we're gonna cross and tap. Cross and tap, good. So we're getting a little twist through the torso, and we're crossing and tapping. Good. We're out of sync, Sabrina. That's okay. You don't have to be in sync. We're just moving our bodies. That's what matters. Just, you don't have to do it right. Just keep moving. All right. Now we're going to take it to the side and tap. Good. So cross tap. It's throwing me off. That's okay. As long as you're moving, it's all good. All right, and now we're gonna to go to the back and cross and tap back, good. All right, so we're a good couple minutes into our warm up. Hopefully you're feeling a little bit warmer. It should still feel fairly light. And we're gonna march. So we're transitioning to a march. And then we're gonna take this march and we're gonna move with the march. So if you're seated, you're just gonna add an arm swing when we start to move with the march. All right, and we're gonna start to move forward. So we'll walk forward, walk back. Walk forward, walk back. Walk forward, walk back. Walk forward, walk back, walk forward, walk back. nice job. We're gonna do to the side, side walk, and bring the arms to the side, side walk, arms to the side. Good. So you can make the movements bigger to get more of an increase in your heart rate, but we're still in the warm up, so we can keep it nice and light, but you can think about that as we go. So now we're gonna reach and stretch, good. Reach and stretch, good. So you can almost squat down a little bit and then come up and stretch. 
Good, so we're warming up the whole spine. But we're moving those large muscles, so we're keeping our bodies moving and we're gonna twist. We're gonna rotate through the torso. Good, so you're just tapping and twisting. It doesn't have to be pretty. We're just gonna keep moving those muscles. I'm sure you all look fabulous out there, but you don't have to worry about it being perfect. All right, we're coming to the end of our cool down and we're gonna get into our training zone coming up. All right, we're taking it into our training zone so we can start to move a little bit bigger, move a little bit faster. So I'm getting my knees up higher, Sabrina's getting her knees up. You can swing the arms, but keep it what's right for you, right? Fairly light to somewhat hard, or if you check your heart rate, you wanna be in that target heart rate range. All right? So it's during this phase that you're gonna to start to notice you're breathing a little bit faster. Good, get those knees up, get those arms going. Good, and now we're gonna to go to a single, single, double arm, double arm. It's a modified jumping jack. One arm, one arm, both arms, both arms. Good. Good. So this whole workout we did is low impact. If there's anybody out there who likes to jump, you could do a, a little bounce in there and a regular jumping jack, but we're going to keep it low impact. Good. All right. Now we're going to tap and row the arms back. Tap forward, pull back. Good. Tap and pull. So you can get lower. Good. Squeeze those shoulder blades as the arms come back. Tap and pull. All right, we're gonna twist now. All right, so we're gonna take the knees up and bring the opposite elbow to the opposite knee. So we're turning the torso to the knee. So if at any point it starts to feel like you're working more than somewhat hard, maybe don't lift the knees as high. All right, take the movement smaller. If it feels like it's too easy, make that movement bigger. Good. All right, now we're gonna pull the arms back and kick the knee back. We're rowing and we're kicking that leg up. Try to, try to get that heel up as high as you can. Working that hamstring, pulling the arms back, getting those muscles between the shoulder blades squeezing. Good. Good, so again, you can take the movement smaller or you can make the movement bigger. All right. We're gonna be transitioning to a combined movement. Knee, kick, knee, kick, knee, kick. So we can go slow. You can pick up the pace. You can make the movement bigger. The whole point is to stay working fairly light to somewhat hard. If you get into that hard range, you're not benefiting your heart anymore. There's no benefit to pushing into that range. Good. Now we're gonna walk. So we'll take it to a march. We're gonna move, two, three, four, kick, kick. Take it back, two, three, four, kick, kick. One, two, three, four, kick, kick. Good, we're gonna keep going like that. Anybody who likes to dance could make this more of a dance move. I'm not gonna do that. All right, we're gonna take it back. We're gonna do the same thing, but we're gonna add a knee this time. So we're gonna walk, two, three, four, knee, knee. Back, two, three, four, knee, knee. So if I wasn't feeling like I was getting enough from this, I could add a bigger arm movement. Good. Great job. We're gonna add in some boxing moves. We're gonna, um, we're gonna punch and lift the opposite knee. Punch and lift the opposite knee. Good, so we can keep it nice and slow, or you can pick up your pace. Good. We're 
we're going to transition to just punches. So if we're going to stand, if we're standing, we're going to kind of stand with the knees bent, keep the belly pulled in, and we're going to punch. So you can go faster, you can create a bigger movement, or you can go nice and slow. Good. The next move we're going to go into is going to be, for those of you sitting, you're going to go ahead and stand up. And we're going to do squats with reaches. You're going to sit down and stand up. So we're going to squat down, reach up, squat down, bend and reach. Good. So it's either just sitting and standing or squatting and reaching. Good. And again, the pace and how big the movement are, are going to determine how hard you work. You want to keep it in that fairly light, somewhat hard range. All right. Great. We're going to transition to just a slow jog in place. You can march or you can do a little jog in place. Good. You can try doing fast feet, get them moving as quick as you can, or you can keep it nice and slow and steady. Great. And we're going to lift the knee and press the arms overhead. It's a knee lift with a press. Good. So again, you can add a little hop if you want to take it higher, but we can keep it right here. This is too much, you make this arm movement smaller. If you want more, you make the arm movement bigger. This workout's all about you. For this next move, if you're seated, come to the front of your chair. And everyone else, you're going to bring one leg back, pull the knee in, reach the arms forward. Pull the knee in, reach the arms forward. Pull, pull, good. Good, you're going to feel it in this leg you're balancing on. We're going to switch sides. Pull back, pull to the knee, good. All right, we're moving back to a jacking motion, but the leg is going to lift. Good. So you can do one arm, or you can do both arms. All right, so we're getting those outer thighs working. Getting the arms moving. Getting our heart rates in that training zone. All right, and doesn't everybody love to jump ropes? We're gonna pretend we have little jump ropes here and we're just swinging the jump ropes and moving the legs, kind of like a mini march. And we're gonna, we're gonna transition this, we're gonna keep the same arm motion but add a leg step to the side. So we're gonna step out and in. Good, so we're getting the arms moving and the legs moving. Look at how in sync we are, Sabrina. <laughs> Good. I can feel my heart rate is getting up. I feel like I'm breathing a little bit deeper. I'm definitely getting warm, but I can still carry a conversation. Great job. All right, we're gonna channel our inner dancer. We're gonna do our disco reach move. So you can get as low as you wanna be for this one, all right? Or you can stand up tall. It doesn't have to be a big movement, just as long as you're feeling, you're gonna get tired of me saying it, like you're working fairly light to somewhat hard, okay? The bigger and the faster the movement, the harder it is. And from this move, we're gonna transition into a higher knee again, and we're gonna to try to clap under the leg. So this forces you to have to get the knee up. You don't have to, you can clap the sides of the thigh. You can tap the top of the knee, all right? We're just gonna keep moving. You can make the arm movement bigger, right? Or you can keep it nice and small. Good. So we're almost 10 minutes into our cardio workout, all right? We're gonna, Pause in a second, 
check in with our heart rate, check our RPE. All right, so keep moving. If you check your heart rate, you can go ahead and count on your wrist. If you have a watch that tells you, otherwise just look at the RPE scale. What number are you working at? Are you working fairly light to somewhat hard? Grab a sip of water, okay? Because then we're gonna repeat that same sequence. We have 10 more minutes in our target zone before we cool down. All right, we're taking it into our training zone. So we can start to move a little bit bigger, move a little bit faster. So I'm getting my knees up higher. Sabrina's getting her knees up. You can swing the arms, but keep it what's right for you, right? Fairly light to somewhat hard, or if you check your heart rate, you wanna be in that target heart rate range. All right. So it's during this phase that you're gonna to start to notice you're breathing a little bit faster. Good, get those knees up, get those arms going. Good, and now we're gonna to go to a single, single, double arm, double arm. It's a modified jumping jack. One arm, one arm, both arms, both arms, good. Good. So this whole workout we did is low impact. If there's anybody out there who likes to jump, you could do a, a little bounce in there and a regular jumping jack, but we're gonna keep it low impact. Good. All right, now we're gonna tap and row the arms back. Tap forward, pull back. Good, tap and pull. So you can get lower. Good. Squeeze those shoulder blades as the arms come back. Tap and pull. All right, we're gonna twist now. All right, so we're gonna take the knees up and bring the opposite elbow to the opposite knee. So we're turning the torso to the knee. So if at any point it starts to feel like you're working more than somewhat hard, Maybe don't lift the knees as high. All right, take the movement smaller. If it feels like it's too easy, make that movement bigger. Good. All right, now we're gonna pull the arms back and kick the knee back. We're rowing and we're kicking that leg up. Try to, try to get that heel up as high as you can. Working that hamstring, pulling the arms back, getting those muscles between the shoulder blades squeezing. Good. Good, so again, you can take the movement smaller or you can make the movement bigger. All right, we're gonna be transitioning to a combined movement, knee, kick, knee, kick, knee, kick. So we can go slow, you can pick up the pace, you can make the movement bigger. The whole point is to stay working Fairly light to somewhat hard. If you get into that hard range, you're not benefiting your heart anymore. There's no benefit to pushing into that range. All right. Good. Now we're gonna walk. So we'll take it to a march. We're gonna move, two, three, four, kick, kick. Take it back, two, three, four, kick, kick. One, two, three, four, kick, kick. Good, we're gonna keep going like that. Anybody who likes to dance could make this more of a dance move. I'm not gonna do that. All right, we're gonna take it back. We're gonna do the same thing, but we're gonna add a knee this time. So we're gonna walk, two, three, four, knee, knee. Back, two, three, four. Knee, knee. So if I wasn't feeling like I was getting enough from this, I could add a bigger arm movement. Good. Great job. We're gonna add in some boxing moves. We're gonna, um, we're gonna punch and lift the opposite knee. Punch and lift the opposite knee. Good, so we can keep it nice and slow, or you can pick up your pace.
Good. We're gonna transition to just punches. So we're gonna stand, if we're standing, we're gonna kind of stand with the knees bent, keep the belly pulled in, and we're gonna punch. So you can go faster, you can create a bigger movement, or you can go nice and slow. Good. All right, the next move we're gonna go into is gonna be, for those of you sitting, you're gonna go ahead and stand up. And we're gonna do squats with reaches. You're gonna sit down and stand up. So we're gonna squat down, reach up, squat down, bend and reach, good. So it's either just sitting and standing or squatting and reaching. Good. And again, the pace and how big the movement are are gonna determine how hard you work. You wanna keep it in that fairly light, somewhat hard range. All right, great. We're gonna to transition to just a slow jog in place. You can march or you can do a little jog in place. Good. You can try doing fast feet, get them moving as quick as you can, or you can keep it nice and slow and steady. Great. And we're gonna lift the knee and press the arms overhead. It's a knee lift with a press. Good. So again, you can add a little hop if you wanna take it higher, but we can keep it right here. This is too much, you make this arm movement smaller. If you want more, you make the arm movement bigger. This workout's all about you. For this next move, if you're seated, come to the front of your chair, and everyone else, you're gonna bring one leg back, pull the knee in, reach the arms forward. Pull the knee in, reach the arms forward. Pull, pull, good. Good, you're gonna feel it in this leg you're balancing on. We're gonna switch sides. Pull back, pull to the knee, good. All right, we're moving back to a jacking motion, but the leg is gonna lift. Good, so you can do one arm, or you can do both arms. All right, so we're getting those outer thighs working. Getting the arms moving, getting our heart rates in that training zone. All right, and doesn't everybody love to jump ropes? We're gonna pretend we have little jump ropes here and we're just swinging the jump ropes and moving the legs, kind of like a mini march. And we're gonna, we're gonna transition this. We're gonna keep the same arm motion but add a leg step to the side. So we're gonna step out and in. Good, so we're getting the arms moving and the legs moving. Look at how in sync we are, Sabrina. <laughs> Good. I can feel my heart rate is getting up. I feel like I'm breathing a little bit deeper. I'm definitely getting warm, but I can still carry a conversation. Great job. All right, we're gonna channel our inner dancer. We're gonna do our disco reach move. So you can get as low as you wanna be for this one, all right, or you can stand up tall. It doesn't have to be a big movement, just as long as you're feeling, you're gonna get tired of me saying it, like you're working fairly light to somewhat hard, okay? The bigger and the faster the movement, the harder it is. And from this move, we're gonna transition into a higher knee again, and we're gonna to try to clap under the leg. So this forces you to have to get the knee up. You don't have to, you can clap the sides of the thigh. You can tap the top of the knee, all right? We're just gonna keep moving. You can make the arm movement bigger, right? Or you can keep it nice and small. Good. So we're almost 10 minutes into our 
cardio workout. All right. We're going to pause in a second, check in with our heart rate, check our RPE. All right, you made it. We're in the cool down. So we're going to take our pace down, take the movements down a little bit. We're just going to march it out here. We'll repeat some of the moves that we did just to get our heart rates to start gradually coming back down, right? We don't want to just stop. Um, that can cause our blood pressure to drop and make us feel dizzy. So we want to kind of just keep moving, but at a slower pace. So we really get that heart rate to start to come down. Good. All right, and then we're gonna to start to take it forward and back. take side tap with the arms out. Good, nice and slow. So we're still moving, but we're moving smaller and slower. Good, take a nice deep breath in and out. Good, and then curl the leg back. So small arm movement, legs curl back. You might even feel a little stretch in the front of the thigh as you kick the leg back, opening up the quad a little bit. Good, let's tap the heels in front. Tap to the side again. And we're gonna tap side, and then we're gonna double on this side, two taps. Tap side and two taps. Good. All right, and let's tap the feet to the front again. And then cross the arms. Hopefully you feel like your breathing's getting easier, heart rate's starting to come down. Good. We're gonna stop moving the feet and we're gonna just circle the arms. All right, so they can be big circles, they can be little circles. Good. Good. And then let's move the arms forward and back. And then let's take the arms up like a goal post and bring the arms in and out. And let's hold the arms out. Look up, take a deep breath in, stretch the front of the chest. And out. Good. And let's bring the arms in front, straight across. Cross one arm over the top, then the other, in and out. Good. Next time your right arm comes across, we're going to hug it across the body. Take a nice deep breath and out and then swing the arms again and then catch that other arm, hug it across the body, deep breath in and out. Good. Release the arms. Let's tap the legs again and then reach the arms down towards the heels. And then we're gonna pause with the right foot out, slide the arms down, reach them back, slide them down. You can rest them on your knee, on your thigh, wherever's comfortable, take a deep breath in. And out. And then we're gonna start doing the same thing where we switch legs. Pause with that other leg in front. And then rest the hands. Deep breath in and out. Good. And then we'll tap again. Good. And then let's come to our side taps. 
And we're gonna do a stretch for the outer half or thigh, okay? So if you're standing, you can hold on to something. If you're seated, you're gonna cross a leg over. You may stay right here. You may use your hand to just gently push down on the thigh. You may be, can you just show if your leg's down lower, Sabrina? Mm -hmm. You may be right there and that's good too. If you're standing, you can be here. You can sit back. We're gonna take a nice deep breath in and out. Good. And then we're gonna side tap again. And then we're going to do that opposite side. So we're going to cross it over in whatever variation works for you. And take a deep breath in. And out. Good. And we're going to tap back. And we're going to pause with that leg back. Okay, you can be on the toes on the back leg. If you're seated, you can just drop your knee towards the floor. So we're starting to stretch through the front of the hip. You can hold on if you need to. Okay, you can reach an arm, that same side arm up and get a little bit more of a stretch there. Deep breath in and out. Bring the feet together and we're gonna just tap back again. We're almost done with our cool down. Keep that leg back, good. Dropping the knee down. You can reach the arm up. Deep breath in and out. Come back together and we're just gonna slowly march the legs. And we're gonna heel tap again. Good, this is a great workout. A good way to get in 30 minutes on those bad weather days, or if you're looking to add some variety to your exercise routine. Think about at this point, what's your RPE rating? We should be starting to get back below 11, right? Eight, nine, 10 maybe. Right. We're gonna inhale, reach the arms up, deep breath in, exhale the arms down. Good, let's do that again. Deep breath in, reach the arms up, Exhale, the arms come down. One more, deep breath in and out. All right, that was a great job. That was a great 30 minute cardio workout today. Um, make sure you hydrate, have something to drink, log your exercise. Um, it, when you're forming new habits and incorporating exercise into your life, it really helps if you can keep track and write it down. If you enjoyed that, you can check out our YouTube channel and we have some stretching videos, some strength training videos, some yoga, meditation, and cooking demos. So go ahead and click around, subscribe, um, and we'll see you in cardiac rehab.